everyone welcome back good to have you join me it's Angela and it is lovely to have you here on this dismal Sunday I don't know why I always start off and bring in the weather at some point must be a British thing but it is winter and it does amaze me every day uh, the different seasons my poor tree in the front of me here um, you know displays so there's not a leaf on that tree now so winter is truly here right Getting back to what you've joined me for, I um, last time we made this autumn insert that went into our journal with the leaf over here. Um, and I said I was going to do a, ver a version of that in the Christmas theme today, which I have been working on. So I'm going to just move that out the way. And I have grabbed my Christmas journal and I have pulled out one of these pages. Now you can use a tea stain page, it doesn't really matter. I have just chosen to use this, um, which I did include into my journal page and I'm going to put it in over here. Um, I have printed it on both sides, but a tea stain page will do the job perfectly well. All right, so don't feel if you don't have this that you can't do this. This little idea will fit into any theme. So there you go. Right, we are going to put it into that section between these two pages. But of course, again, that's all up to you as well. Right, so same uh, measurements as previously. So if you haven't watched that video for the finer details, I didn't want to repeat everything um, you know step by step so go and have a look at the autumn journal insert video which is the one just before this and if you missed my journal two videos back where i chopped off eight minutes off the end of that one gosh i don't know how i did that but what happened was i i went and looked into it i managed to um <laughs> i had to, the first upload failed and i think with all the uploads that were failing because you know youtube does it to you sometimes I chose the wrong one to upload, so it is my own fault. But yes, I have put the last eight minutes. That's two videos back now. All right, so that was the um, one with the lacy pockets. Okay, back to this. As I said to you, this is just, it's two and a half inches um, that you want to make a little fold on the right-hand side. And on this side, I think it was um, three and three quarters. All right, so that leaves a fair size in the middle. Now, um, that is uh, going to be slightly shorter, as I said the last time, for the uh, US size, because you've got three quarters of an inch. I would keep this two and a half inches here, maybe move this by uh, a quarter of an inch and this bit here. Um, but, you know, I'm not really going to give you many other measurements. You'll see the principle of what I'm trying to do. Right, so this one we're going to put on a little tag, like the leaf one, but I'm not doing leaves. I'll leave that to the end. I'm going to quickly show you how I went about putting these bits together. All right, so same, and I've prepared these components, which are now falling all over my desk. I measured out a little piece, a base piece. I've done it in this um, lovely lime green color. I love that one. It looks like snow, that's why I like using it. Um, I've stuck on a piece there with glue uh, from my ephemera pack. So this is a Christmas frosting, love that. I wanted a bit with a red background. Then I've made myself a little pocket again with the bit that I like to cut all the elements out of. All right, so it looks like the fabric um, that I'm using. So I've just cut a little rectangle there to fit about a quarter of an inch on either side there. I've stuck on one of the little ephemera labels, the North Pole uh, gingerbread cookies, baked fresh daily, I might add. And I've just backed that onto some of the red um, paper um, and stuck it on there. So that's all I've done. It's very same to, as the, what we did in the previous autumn one. And I'm going to stick that down. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. I will end up um, stitching around it, but I will do that later. Okay, so I'm just going to stick this down with my glue stick. If you're not sewing, which you do not need to, just use a better glue than a glue stick. I'm not a, um, I'm not confident that glue stick stands the test of time. So I tend to use art glitter glue or, you know, the Fabri-Tex um, for something I want to stay fixed without stitching. All right, so that will get a stitch uh, at the end. Okay. These are just my two little cards that go into this section. And then that's that bit done. 
All right, so that's the, the FOST version. If you want the step-by-step -step version with measurements, etc., go and have a look at the other one. I didn't want to repeat what I was doing. Right, this little bit over here, I have, um, we put on a fabric pocket, which I have prepped already. I show you how I do that, and I've stitched around the edges. I then show you how I stick these on, and there you go, that's that. It's going to go onto the section here. It's half an inch from either side. All right, so that's what we're going to do there, and I'm sticking it down. So that's all we need to do there. Really quick and easy, you can see. Look at that beautiful, neat stitching. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, I was going to stitch this one with the autumn one, but I, I thought, well, why? You know, I'm going to just go with it with the fabric tack and there is nothing wrong with that. Right, so all the edges, you don't have to turn them over and stitch them. If you want to use your zigzag dressmakers um, shears, then, you know, that's another option. You want to pull the edges. You know, that's also another idea. So we're going to just stick this down onto the center bit over there. And I love the, this aqua color with the red. I really do. Okay. So I think that's pretty straight. Use your little ruler if you're not sure. You know. But I think I've got it pretty straight. Okay, maybe a little bit this way. But there we go. Right, so that's that. While that's drying, I took my little triangular pocket. Um, it's got these folds on, but you don't have to have those. I've just decorated that up, if you can see, with a couple of die cuts there, one with a bit of glitter. This is a circle from my add-on kit. I love using the circles on these um, triangular pockets. Right, so again, I'm going to just stick this down. And because there's fabric there, I'm going to use this Fabri-Tac to get that stuck down so this really is the fast version isn't it but it's because i want to spend time on the last bit okay so that's going to go just over there like that and we can just press that down okay now i will just put a few clips on here um that'll have to be my longer ones i think just to hold that down while i go and work on the other little section all right so this one I'll have to turn I think so the great clips and um, I was gifted these and I believe they came from the Dollar Tree or some on somewhere like that so I do have others but not quite on my desk so that's going to do the job all right now we, what we're going to do while that's drying I'm going to put this aside I want to just turn this over I want to make the card like we made we had the, the leaf bit going on here and then a card on the back. I've got a different idea for this one. It's also a tag, but something we haven't quite done yet for this journal. All right, so I'm going to just put that to the side. It's doing its thing. And then what I did was I grabbed a piece of card. So this card is going to be the base for my tag. And this is going to replace where the autumn leaves go. So I've just packed it onto old packaging. This card measures, let's see, um, three and a half inches, which is nine centimeters by six inches, which is I think 15. Yes, 15 and a half. All right, so that's what it is. You can make it slightly narrower, longer, depends how you want to do it. It is a lot shorter than um, the actual flap itself. All right, it's going to go there like that. That's what we're going to do with it. But we're going to do something to it first. All right, so this is the exciting bit. Let's just get all the stuff out of the way. Right, um, I then went and grabbed a few things. First is I grabbed some corrugated board. All right, so you know I'm a hoarder. Um, and this hoard <laughs> of tat that I hang on to does come into use quite often. So I'm not going to apologize too much for that. But I have, um, I'm just trimming off my little bits here. It was easier to do this with the scissors. So um, what I did was I made a little border. Um, it's just to um, anything. If you've got thick card, you know, really thick card, um, you could put um, two layers of that together if you don't have corrugated. Um, anything you want to make a little raised area. This is... Um, a quarter of an inch wide and I'm going to stick this um, onto this bit 
just over here all right so we'll go with our let's let's try the old glitter glue right we'll try it i haven't used it today so let's hope it's going to <laughs> do its thing and we've also got um oh, i think maybe not right because of all the the corrugations let's hope it's going to stick nicely um so i'm going to put a fair amount of glue on this you could also use um, double-sided tape that would work if you've got that um, very nicely it would work very nicely and I have done that before so there are quite a few things that you could use but you know why not use junk when it's free and would otherwise end up in the bin let's just hope it's going to work because this is the first time I'm doing it with this right so I want to just get it onto the edges here I think that's the difficult part is lining it up again okay so we've got that there and just want to make sure that I get it right to the edge and tap it there tap it there and there we go all right so we're just making a bit of a raised area which is what I'm trying to do okay so that's the first thing then the next bit and this is when i want a finer nozzle so i'm that's why i'm swapping glues purely for the fine nozzle i do have my sugar bell there but it needs filling up so i don't want to waste your time right now i've cut out a piece of um, acetate here so this you can get from packaging as well and i want to lie it onto the top here but before i do that um, you want to we're making a bit of a shaker card here so I've grabbed a couple of things first is I raided my daughter's nail art <laughs> um, so I had these last year um, and they're really sweet little snowflakes that are metallic and they're tiny now if you don't have this I'll show you what else I'm going to use just going to put a couple of those in that's it you can get these off Amazon, um, nail art bits. Uh, I don't think it's called nail art. Nail art. Just put nail art in and you'll get a load of things. The other thing I use a lot of for this kind of thing is my sequins. Let's see, Paige put a label on there. <laughs> Bless her. Or glitter. Anything like that. All right. I've even done it with tiny little bits of um, the punched little circles from a paper punch you know that looks like confetti you can use confetti anything you have right so now it's just a case of taking a few pinches here so i'm going to go with christmas colors i think so i'm going to go with a bit of gold i've got bigger ones and smaller ones this this box here also comes from amazon and it's on my favorite tools list now i'm going to go with the smaller ones we've got some white ones um and we want some blue ones so i do love using this for this purpose right i think that's enough of that do i want any red are there small red ones there are let's have a pop of color so we doing that all right a bit of glitter in here would work well um i've also got little seed seed beads i've used those before also i got them from amazon um, in this container now I'm just going to put a couple in I'm going to just squeeze them a uh, couple of those a couple of the blue yeah not too many there we go right that's it so you've got your little bits that go in there with your snowflakes as well right because this image is a snowy scene so that was perfect now i'm going to uh, take my art glitter glue and put it on the middle try and get it in the middle of this because i know it smears out and i don't want it to smear uh, past my edge so i'm using my um i want to get it this way because i don't want it bending down right see it smears out so you don't want it to do that too much. I think just put my little ruler on it. And the other one. So I'm just getting that to go like that for a bit. All right, so it's doing its thing. Sorry if it's glaring, that wasn't probably the right thing. I have to put the light on a bit here because it's quite dark. I mean, it's only one in the afternoon, but it's 
we're coming up to the shortest days, aren't we? With the, equi the winter solstice um, coming up very shortly. All right, so I'm going to just take these glares out of your face. Right, so we've got that bit there. And that's nearly done. I'm just running my finger around it. Um, and you see those now move because we've got the raised area. So that's great. Okay, then I wanted to cover the brown, obviously. So I've cut out another little border from that li lovely lime green that I used for this bit over here. Right, so I've done that. And now I'm going to stick that onto the top like that. Okay, so let's do it. Right, so I have um, distress edged that. Now you want to be careful. This is the art coater glue and it's not forgiving. So you want to get this on the in the right spot pretty quickly. Okay, so we've got that there and we have got that there. Like that. Okay. Now some is squeezed out there, but I have a plan. Okay. <laughs> Right, so we've got our little shaker card there. How cute is that? Okay, just tap it on each side just so that you, you know that this is adhering nicely. And anything that's sticking out, you are able to trim off if you need to. Okay, right, I'm quite happy with that. That is great. Now I'm going to fix up that little bit in the corner there because you see the glue is now got bits sticking on there but what I grabbed was a little robin I grabbed a little robin and I chopped his one toe off so I'm sorry Mr Robin but I'm going to just um, stick this over in that section over here now it is a very big robin so maybe that's not a good idea we might just go with the holly okay I'm going to stick that on for the holly section so let's get that on there. Oops. Right. Wipe that off. Okay. And then we're going to just stick that right over the edge. See, that's how you just cover up things that don't do as they told. Okay, so I'm quite liking that. All right. Now, I was going to put an eyelet in there. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do it. I'll, I'm in two minds because I don't want to squash it too much. But I think I'm going to give it a go. So let me just grab a little eyelet here. I've got my cropper dial. It's just because I want to put a bow on the top. I'm probably going to regret this. But if you don't try it, you don't know. So is this the middle? Let's see the middle. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to put that over there. like that and then we're going to put this through now i think ruth asked me to show her what these things look like when you once you've pressed them now you've got to press pretty hard ruth pretty hard um and then it looks like that now this little prong there is sticking i don't know if you can see up a little bit my answer to that is my little pliers and if you've got a little prong that's sticking up just a little bit, you can just take that and give it a light press. And there you go. It's flat in that one as well. All right. So that's how it looks once you've done it on the underside. All right. So that's looking great. And we've got some bits going around there. So happy with that. All right. I just want to put in some red ribbon there. Take this out. And I'm going to tie it off camera because then I'll get it right <laughs> okay so I have um, put in that that's all ready to go just a bit of red to pick up on the red bits and then I have just stitched around there I haven't stitched it through so that it doesn't come through there but I will glue that bit down so let's do that quickly and then we can finish off this last little bit just over here so I'm wanting to um, make this 
a tuck spot but you could leave it open and put something else there so you've got a flip out you know you could decorate that section so you don't need to do that um, if you don't want to you've got choices and I'm just going to put some glue just on that bit over there because I love a secret tuck spot there we go So that'll do its thing while we are busy here and then I want to attach that now you can attach it on either side I think I might attach it on that side on this occasion where the other one I did on the inside now the other bit that I've done is I have taken one of my journal pages and I've cut this out slightly wider as you can see than this so this one is and i've backed it so i cut it out at three and three quarter inches that way the same length as this one here then i've just backed it onto some backing paper like that and now what i want to do is i want to stick that over there all right now i think i was going to put a stamp on here at the top so i've grabbed my uh, tattered Christmas stamps because they've got some nice little sayings and things and I thought um, have yourself a merry little Christmas you know you can just use one of my sentiments if you like and um, I'm going to use these more on the actual pages and I thought I'd just put that at the top there um, and you don't have to it's just me being me I'm going to use the green if I can oh, there it is on the top that's handy so I'm going to stamp that one off after I've stuck this down. So it'll be the last thing I do. Right, so I'm going to stick this on first. So I'm going to stick it about there. And this is where I want my pencil. I don't want to be, um, you know, worrying about have I got it straight. So I want to do that before I actually um, glue it in place. So I'm just lining this up on my board. And gauging it i mean it doesn't have to be exactly perfect so that's something to remember but as long as i've got it straight on this side which i think i do so i'm going to say there and there that's just going to give me a nice guide i don't want to put glue on the whole thing so it's up until that point okay so this bit here I don't want glue on so I'm going to hold it like that and then I'm going to get this stuck down the other one I mean I did it with the glue on the whole one and that was fine but you know whatever works for you best is the way to go I'd say so get this bit stuck on first and then I'm going to line up the tag afterwards and the tag is narrower so I've got a bit of leeway there so let's get this ready right so we want to get it down over there lining up with the lines makes it so much easier really does okay and then we can turn that over there we go and now before you glue it just check that this and this are going to match and then we're going to it is it is it is so pull up the ribbon tails you don't want to get ribbon, um, glue on there now these would make great cards you could put this on the front of a card on the front of your journal you know this type of thing so there's lots of uses for this and a great way to use up the wrapping and scrappy bits that you have been hoarding like me um, my mum loves to tell me I'm a hoarder like it's a bad thing but you know I use all those bits when I'm looking for something that's exactly you, uh, the place I find it, is in the hall. <laughs> I'm not overboard. I mean, I don't keep every single piece that comes through my door. But if I had something new or something I look at and I think, oh, yeah, I use a lot of those, like envelopes, you know, then I do keep them. Right, I think we've got enough glue on there. So let's start at the top here. And there and a fabric tack gives you a moment so you can 
you know, you can have a look at it and decide, okay, yes, no, move it or not. Right, so there we go. I've got that in place. And I want to give it a little press. A little press. And you might want to leave a book on it or something for a while, which is probably what I will do afterwards. All right. Okay, so there we've got our little card. You see it's moved a little bit, so I just want to line that up again. Thank goodness for Fabri-Tac. <laughs> Now just move it to where you want it and there you have your little shaker card okay so that's looking fabulous that's a beautiful little insert as it is i love it all right now i said i wanted to put a little sentiment there so i'm going to um have yourself a merry little christmas definitely sorry for the singing I'll keep my day job. <laughs> right, so I want to just get this right. So hopefully it is right. Quickly. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. There we go. Okay. Fabulous. All right, so there we have it, our little insert. Now you can put anything in there, and I usually leave that to the end to see which postcards I have over, which ephemera I have over, or things from the day of Christmas that I might have had cards from people or something, and you can tuck those in there. So it's always great to have a place to store those sorts of bits. Right, so loving that. Um, and then on this side. Right, so last bit. I've got this lovely large card with a Christmas tree. Just got a little bit of a, a thread here, which I want to cut off. There we go. I've added Never Lose Your Sparkle because I thought that one was great for the tree. And that's going to go right in there. Perfect. And then two little bits here with some ribbon on. Again, from my ephemera pack. And I'm going to put those in this little pocket just over there. And there we have it. Look at that. You've got all of that going on there. You've got that little tuck spot there. And that little shaky shaky over there. <laughs> All right, so we're going to just take it and then shake it, yeah, because it rhymes. <laughs> and we're going to put it in there. So that's the fold line, so you can see perfect for there. Um, that's going to look absolutely stunning over there, like that. And we can still put something like a page edge decoration. Don't forget, um, we will be adding those little pockets we made, the little advent pockets. Um, onto each page so you know not everything needs to be decorated um, and we're coming to the end this one is really chunky already look at that and I've still got to add those envelopes and everything so not far to go all right everyone I hope you've enjoyed that I've lost it now where is it gone <laughs> it's somewhere it's somewhere is it here it's here all right, so go and give this a go. I know you want to, and that's going to turn out perfectly. So thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Gosh, it is almost dark, and it's it's not even 2 o'clock. Um, have a wonderful Sunday, and I will see you for a couple of videos next week. I think my last video will be... Um, I'm going to do two next week. So there's one on Tuesday going into Wednesday and there's one on um, Wednesday or Thursday. All right, I'll let you know on Tuesday. Okay, everyone, have a great week and I'll see you all very soon. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.